I'm a director at Care Indeed. Um, I'm the director of community relations and training. So I get the fun job of training of all, all our caregivers and our staff. And I also get to uh, give back to the community as our form of um, community outreach. So, Jessica, hook it back. So hello everybody. Um, it was really nice that you guys invited me. I, I really enjoyed hearing about all the philanthropical things that you're doing to give back to the community. Um, myself, I come from a nonprofit background, um, and I, I really enjoy hearing what people are doing in nonprofit and giving back. So, um, so today I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about laughter yoga, um, which is one of the ways that we're, we give back to the community that we serve. Um, so Care Indeed uh, provides non-medical caregivers to, um, to community assisted living communities like Atria, the Bay, Bridgepoint, Macau are some of our clients and all along, all throughout the Bay Area. So we serve all the way from Oakley all the way down to South San Jose. So uh, we have a wide range of um, caregivers available and um, so we, what, what we do is match people with um, people that need help. Um, so that's a little bit more about care indeed. A little bit more about my background is um, I have a master's in public health from San Jose State University um, and a nonprofit management certification from the Center for Excellence in Nonprofits. And um, I just received that certificate not too long ago, so I'm really happy about that. Um, so yeah, my background has been in nonprofits. I, I used to work at the VA. I've worked at um, Santa Clara Valley Medical Center um, as the C uh, management analyst to the CEO. Um, yeah, so I've done a, a wide range of nonprofit. This is my first for-profit job. And the reason I like it is because they have a huge heart. They love giving back. And so that's why they hired me, because I love giving back as well. Um, so I'll tell you a little bit more about Laughter Yoga, which is our way of giving back. Um, so Laughter Yoga was established in 1995 by a medical doctor, Dr. Kataria, and um, he was doing some research on why laughter is the best medicine. So he found an article in the Reader's Digest, and it was all about um, you know, Norman Cousins. Have you guys heard of Norman Cousins? And the research he did on laughter, 10 minutes of laughter he found, gave him two hours of pain relief because it releases endorphins in our brain. So. Yeah, so there's a lot of research on why laughter is the best medicine. So, um, so what I get to do is I get to spread that around to um, the assisted living, the memory care units, the skilled nursing. Um, so I get to bring laughter into places like that. So it's really fun. So, um, so laughter yoga he found um, was just as you know, fake laughter was just as <coughs> beneficial as real laughter. So he created a number of exercises, about 42 different exercises. Um, that um, incorporate a childlike playfulness, building a community, um, and laughter for no reason. So, so that's how he started it. Um, so he started. He had, you know, he was so excited. He went down to his local park at seven o'clock in the morning. It's because in India, um, everybody goes for walks at seven in the morning. So he got, he gathered people to him, you know, a few here and there, and then all of a sudden he had fifty people. He started off by telling jokes because he thought you had to really laugh in order to get the benefits, right? Um, and then he ran out of jokes. So, <laughs> so yeah, so they told him, go home or we're going to disband it. You have 24 hours to figure this out, how to continue the laughter, right? So he realized, you know, that's when he realized that fake laughter is just as good as real laughter. And he came up with the exercises. So um, I'll just share with you um, a couple of exercises in brief. So if you guys want to follow along with me, okay? So this is going to be... You don't have to stand up, but just be careful of your arms because we're going to be stretching our arms like this. Okay. I don't need to think about it. <laughs> you can't watch that fork. <laughs> and yeah, just participate if you like. And I'll just do a few brief exercises. So follow along with my laughter, okay? Um, actually, before we start that, we're going to we're gonna clap because this is what I want my clients to do. All right. Let's do now we're going to add our voice to it. exercises so that's what I explained to my groups that I have 
Um, and then, so I go ahead and I start the first exercise, which is called milkshake laughter, right? <laughs> so this incorporates the childlike playfulness that everybody has inside them and the natural rhythm of the clapping, right? And the pressure points are being worked out when you clap. So all the pressure points, it helps with blood circulation, okay? So we're gonna start our first exercise, which is milkshake laughter. Okay, and follow along with my laugh. <laughs> 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 All right, good. Back to center. <laughs> we got some real laughter over there. That's good. All right, so. Stop <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. You can relax and enjoy yourself. This is supposed to be enjoyable. I owe you one. I owe you one. You owe me a laugh. <laughs> Two. Okay, you owe me two laughs. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to hold the milkshake that we just made in our hands, and we're going to keep our back and neck straight, and we're going to go. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do less time because we have a time time limit today. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, so that's just one example of the exercises I do. And so I, I'm, I'm being invited back monthly by um, all the Atrias, all the Sunrise, um, the V. I did, I did this with their skilled nursing department for, um, for Nurses Week. And so I was able to do laughter yoga with the nurses who have the toughest cases sometimes. And they're dealing with memory care, they're dealing with people with acute care. So. Any reason to laugh is, you know, it's very beneficial for their health. Um, so I've also done this with Palo Alto Medical Foundation um, with their caregiver support group called Meet and Move. So it's a walking group that they established, the David Drucker Institute, um, Palo Alto Medical Foundation. Um, so I have ongoing sessions every month with places like that. Hmm. So I'm, I'm willing to take questions now. Do we have any questions about laughter yoga? Who's the target audience? Is it the caregivers or the patients? Uh, so for me, um, as our way of giving back to the community that we serve, which is older adults, um, I do this at you know with the with older adults. Um, so that's our our population of interest. Um, I also am going to do this with our caregivers at our family day. We have a, a care and deed family day um, in Palo Alto at a park. So I'm going to do that with our caregivers, um, and I also do it with family support. So women usually in their 40s taking care of elderly parents or 40s or 50s, um, and they get really they have a lot of fun with it. So they want they ask me to come back every month. So okay. And how are you funded? How are we funded? So Care Indeed um, accepts long-term care insurance and private pay at this time. So that's how we're funded. So we're not a nonprofit, um, although I do come from a nonprofit background. Okay. Good question. Any other questions? How long? The, the sessions go, the laughter yoga session? Yeah, so this session um, usually goes a half hour. Um, I used to think that an hour would be good, but it does get exhausting when you're laughing. It take, you don't realize it, but it is a workout for your heart, your lungs, and you get tired, especially if uh, the younger, the family support groups, um, they're, they get up and you know move around and do this interaction with each other with laughter. Um, so a half hour to 45 minutes. So this is designed for the individual. They don't take it back to their patients, right? Or um, so I'm sorry, I didn't understand your question. All right. So you give it to the caregivers. Now they take it back to the people they're giving care to, like their elder people. Yeah. So in their beds or wherever they do, yeah. they try to to uh, encourage them to uh, exactly. So uh, I had a caregiver from Care Indeed was um, was. Uh, take, she had a client at Bridgepoint. So she had come down to see the laughter yoga class that I did with the older adults there that, that lived there. And she, her um, client didn't want to come down. She was a little bit more shy. So this caregiver was able to take it up to the woman that she's helping and um, do the exercises with her. And she was just laughing. She loved it. Yeah. So yeah, and it even works with people with advanced stages of dementia. I did this with CPMC, um, their adult day health center, 
in San Francisco, and it worked really well. So they were they were really interactive, and they were able to you kind of let them play with it and take to make it their own, um, and kind of use their guidance um, where they want to take it. It's really fun. So yeah, and it's yeah. So it's for caregivers. It's for family support groups. You can do this with children. Children oftentimes love this, right? And um, you can see a lot of the research and um, the videos of kids doing this and of older adults doing this. Um, I'm also on a documentary uh, for San Jose State Nurse Managed Care Centers. Um, so yeah, so we're doing laughter yoga in the community there too. So. How long has this program been around, Jessica? Since 1995. So laughter yoga was established in 1995 in Mumbai, India. So um, I brought it on to Karen Deed when I started in January this year. So mm -hmm. I really, it's been taking off. I think I'm booked through August. <laughs> wow. So yeah, it's, it's really fun. Yeah, That's That's I really enjoy it. So, And I also teach um, health education lectures for older adults and for our caregivers. So mm -hmm. osteoporosis and bone health, um, all kinds of different <coughs> topics. Managing, um, managing your health condition through, through diet. I teach that class as well. Do you also do traditional yoga? Or I, I guess it's called traditional yoga. I don't know the yeah. term. But. So there's many different types of yoga. So I actually do hot yoga or Bikram yoga. I like Bikram yoga. So, but I've done a lot of, well, I don't teach it. I just do it myself. <laughs> so, yeah. Good is questions. there anything to the exercises that, that you know, or it's just, just movement? Movement, so you're oftentimes getting people that are maybe a little bit frozen up in their arms, getting them to, okay, there's one that you pull apart, you laugh, and you pull apart, you go stretch, right? There's some, this, and I let some people, like this gentleman in one of my classes at, um, at Belmont Village, he asked if he can create his own exercise. So I asked them at the end of the class now, I say, oh, would you guys like to create any of your own exercises? Because he asked me if he could. So he, re he created the roller coaster laughter, which is like you're on a roller coaster. Oh, and, oh, yeah. yeah, and it changes your whole energy in your body. It opens oh. up your chest, and you get that laugh. It helps you breathe better and laugh deeper. Oh. Yeah. Mm. That's a good one. It could be like the wave. Right? Yeah, it's like the wave, right? <laughs> it's a yeah. game. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, oh, and then we incorporate deep breathing as well to kind of relax them. So people in my classes have been anywhere from, you know, in their 40s all the way up to over 100 years old. Wow. So, yeah, it's at some of the Sunrise Centers that I go, Sunrise Assisted Living Communities, um, there's people in their hundreds. Wow. Yeah. So, so, I mean, there's different exercises that for people either sitting down or standing up. Yeah, yeah if, they're, so, if I mean, they're immobile, like they can't um, stand very easily and they're worried about falling, we, most of the time we do this in the seat, in their, in their chair or wheelchair. Um, so with family support groups, we stand in a circle. And so they can make eye contact because that's building community and laughing. So if, you, if I saw him laughing, I'm going to laugh even harder. And it's going to be real laughter, not just sure. fake right. laughter, yeah. which we started off doing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. This is a new thing um, to yeah. this area. Uh, most people haven't heard of it. No. But I really yeah. enjoy bringing it to people. So wow. if you know of a group that's interested, let me know. So how long do you have to do it or in order to get those pain management? Ten minutes is what Norman Cousins uh, stated in his book, Anatomy of an Illness, which was written in 1983, I believe. Mm. Yeah, so it's an older book, <laughs> but it's still really relevant, some of the, some of the things he's talking so, so 10 minutes for about two hours of uh, relief, yeah. roughly? Uh, yeah, it's about taking control of, your, of, your, of the illness or your body, um, whatever ailments that you may have. Mm. Yeah. And so he was, he was diagnosed with like a degenerative um, connective tissue disorder. And so he was able, he talks about, he was able to um, use laughter as a way of pain relief when medicine really wouldn't, wouldn't work mm. for him. So. Wow. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, good. Mind-body yeah. connection. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow. Really yeah. good. Yeah. One thing, Jessica, is that uh, at our color run event that's coming up next Sunday, if you know of any nonprofits that would like to come out and have a booth to give out information, we're offering booth space for okay. the color run for no charge. Can you send me um, mm -hmm. information? Because sure. I'm. Pretty connected with the nonprofit yeah. stuff. Yeah, and so if 
they would have, we give them the space. They'd have to bring their own tent and everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But uh, we're having nonprofits come out and have a booth for free. Okay, thank you so much. Sure. And thanks for inviting me. Thank you.